ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. So, Andy, you're coming back to the ring November 11th. How's this camp going? How's everything since we last saw you? Oh, camp's going great. Um, training, I'm focused, and I'm um, just training hard because um, the fight's coming in less than a month, so I'll be more than ready. I've been training really hard, really good. At this point in your career, would you say you know the motions of a camp and how to put yourself and your body through things? Yeah, yeah, I've learned a lot since my first fight. I learned uh, what works with my body. Um, when I need rest, when I need a, a day off, when my body asks for it. Um, I've been learning a lot uh, from Victor Conti, Snack, and Mike Basil. Um, I learned a lot more how to do my weight cut the proper way. Um, and I just, I just been feeling uh, much, much stronger in my last fight, just because I'm doing everything the right way, picking up things when they need to be picked up, and. And if anything, just, just stay in focus, man. Okay, and I know a lot of people look at the Casey Ramos fight and see that as the fight that you learned a lot from. I would say the Angel Hernandez fight is the fight you probably learned the most as a pro from. Would you agree with that? And what did you learn from that fight? Yeah, I, I think the, what, what I learned the most from the Casey Ramos fight was, was how to make weight the proper way. I was uh, very drained that fight. And, made a difference on my performance. And then the Angel Hernandez fight, I don't, I don't feel it was a fight where I learned, or I needed to learn more. It was more of a getting me accustomed to the trainer that I had, that I got moved to. So it was more of us getting to know each other in that fight. But I feel um, we would have had a better performance and we would have had more time together. But um, not, nah, but it was a good fight. He was a tough guy and, you know, I got through it. And I won unanimously, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing crazy, but but they are good learning experiences. Well, do you know anything about who you're fighting on November 11th, and what can people expect? Yeah, I'm fighting a guy named. Um, I was supposed to fight in my last fight, so I'm pretty uh, familiar with with him. His name was uh, Reynaldo Blanco. He's from the Dominican Republic. He's fighting out of Puerto Rico. Uh, he fought with Juan Bartelomé his last fight. I was there live, so. Um, I know what he likes to do, and I know his habits, and he's, he's an um, emotional fighter, so we're just going to break him down and get him frustrated and run him into all the big shots. Um, you got to listen to Angel, the game plan, and uh, just work behind the jab and set everything up, and we should be fine. When you saw him and you didn't know that you were fighting him at in uh, Nice, California, when you were supporting Eros, uh, like what did you I know you just kind of said it but like what did you see did you see a guy who comes forward a lot a guy that's kind of tall for the division um, what did you just like just a simple thing that you saw about him yeah yeah he's tall for the division but he fights off emotions so when he gets mad and he gets frustrated he tries to retaliate retaliate right after you throw punches so it's all about being ready after we throw punches and then just being ready to run into something big but uh Nothing, nothing crazy. He just, he's just a, a retaliating fighter when he gets mad and fights off emotions. And uh, I, th I think it's gonna be a good fight. It's a good fight for me, and uh, it'll definitely take me to the next level and just gain that confidence, you know. Okay. And when is the fight? And where can people get tickets? And how can they follow you? It'll be uh, November 11 at the Save Mar Center in Fresno, and uh, people can get tickets on uh, Ticketmaster.